that I don't have to suck anyone off or kiss ass or sleep around to be where I'm at now. I actually earned my freaking spot and the position that I'm in and I'm proud to say that. So, it just got real up in <laughs> here, guys. It just got real. I guess most of the girls nowadays is just, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be cute and do this and see <laughs> where I can go, you know? No, I actually trained five days a week and listened to Sarah Del Rey, listened to Mercedes Martinez. Intergender matches nowadays don't tell damn thing. No story, just high spots everywhere. Once I signed a TNA, I was like, okay, let me just let me just have fun here, see what I can do. And then when I re-signed, I was like, I want to see if I can reach to the top. Um, and now I actually won the TNA Knockouts Championship. I witnessed it. My dad was also part of FBI, by the way. So originally that's what I wanted to do, but I guess now with wrestling and my background check with everything that I've done, I probably won't qualify. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up uh, not a geek, what's the word? Like a dork, like nobody really, I was invisible. Um, I was never the pretty girl. I still don't think, you know, I don't care. Mm -hmm. I, have a, I have, like I said, I have my friends, I have my boyfriend, I have my family. I don't care if people think I'm hot or ugly. I almost thank the haters, like the kids that made fun of me and like like people are like, what, you're really doing that? There's no way you're ever going to make it. They you motivated know? us. Like that's what motivated me to actually keep working. So that's, that's actually a, a goal of yours is to be a mom. Way down the line. Way down the line. Yeah. But knock, eventually knock, that's... Knock on wood. All right, cool. I'm not saying all guys, all male wrestlers are scubs because they're not, but there's a lot of bad mixed in with a lot of good. Yeah. Uh, so do you date a fellow wrestler or do you date outside? Because then you date someone outside, they don't understand the time, mm -hmm. that why are you gone so much? Yeah. Why, why are you doing this? Why is this? You know, it, it's that weird balance. As far as like the last male wrestler that I dated, I was, you know, you're cheating on me. You're taking pictures with this guy. You're cheating on me with him. Why are you wearing that? And you going out like that? Eddie was really cool because he was generally a friend. He never crossed the line. He never said any pervy jokes. Like he was strictly just a friend that never crossed the line that most male wrestlers cross. I was all about like, here's a cosplay. They can make stuff from scratch. So can I. When we did the tag team and then we had to cosplay half of the stuff that she wanted to and <laughs> make gear and put stuff together. I, I gave you eyes so you know which one you were like. No, eyes. <laughs> and, uh, and then we kind of came out with an Olaf and Joey Ryan put it down his pants. Yes, he did. <laughs> there is a Lady Deadpool. There's, there's actually a Deadpool core where it's Deadpool, Lady Deadpool, Headpool, Dogpool, Catpool. Because it's all alternate dimension versions of him and they all meet together. It's, it's tongue in cheek silly. So, yeah, the girl's all pretty hot. Like, boom, boom. <laughs> His arc in X Force, I just loved. And the fact that, like, he was in love with Psylocke and then got messed up. And now there's another version of him. And now he's with, ah, it's just weird and awesome. His powers are really cool. and. You're completely lost. Oh my God, his story arcs. Just cause he's a villain, but he's not just, I'm a bad guy, mwa ha ha. He's actually driven and purpose. And there's a reason why he's molded and shaped to do what he's done. I thought this was an action movie. Didn't even get into the action until the last 20 minutes. And it's always cutting to Superman making out with this freaking lady. Lois Lane? Whatever. Oh, I mean, you know, but look at that. People say your name correctly, right? No. Never. Oh. <laughs> it's okay though. I get Levi, yeah. Levi. Yeah, Levi. Leva. Isn't that like a shoe? I've gotten labia before. That was labia. Fun. Bubba enjoys the promos. I enjoy when he's there because people maybe equate him, I think, to Paul Heyman, where he can look at somebody and immediately pick out a character or good, but this is what you should have done. 